What's up guys, it's Starnex Triggers here, and my intros always sound American. What's up guys, what's up guys, what's up guys, you know, anyway. So, I'm gonna have a little story for you guys, and it's called, How My Sister Likes To Repeatedly Piss Me Off. Yeah, well, um, as you guys know, Gears of War 3 came out on Tuesday, I think it was, and I'd ordered it a week before. And um, I was pretty much looking forward to buying the game. I was all happy in the pants, like, yay, Gears is coming tomorrow. And then on the Friday that I ordered it, um, well, not on the Friday, I ordered it on the Thursday. And then on the Friday, I found out I had a basketball match on the day that Gears came out. So that was kind of disappointing in a way. And um, so I had a basketball match. We played two games, we lost one, and we won one, so, yeah, I suppose that's a good thing. And, um, I was too tired to play Gears because of all the running and jumping and layuping and shooting and dunking and all the stuff a tall black basketball player should do. So, yeah, I was tired after that, so I got home and ate and ate food, which will be remained, remained. I ate food which will remain unsaid, yeah, and um, so yeah, I fell asleep and that was my Tuesday, so then on Wednesday I had training in the morning which I had to get to school at 7.30 and then I had training after school which then I was at school until 5, no wait, hold on, I'm confusing myself, on Wednesday we had an early day didn't we, oh uh, yeah, because today's Thursday and then, do you know what, scratch that, so I got to school, I had an early day on Wednesday in which we finished school early but I had a PE detention because my well me and most of my class did not do our homework <gasps> and, and um, yeah we didn't do our homework so we had to stay behind I think until 3.30 to help set up for some open evening thingy so I was after that I was at school for about 40 minutes more than I should be so then after that I was looking forward to going home sitting down playing some Gears of War 2 you know you know how I do with the Nasha shotgun and the cold black guy that plays the games with the with the ball and the kicking and 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 do like well anyway like I was saying I was looking forward to going home and playing gears and then when I get home I find out that my sister has hidden it yeah my sister got home before me because she had an early date that day as well and she had taken my Gears of War 3 and she had hidden it. She had stole my boobalicious prize from me that I've so been waiting for for a long time. And she, she took it from me. She 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 took it right. I was so uh, I was ah uh, I can't even words cannot describe how I wanted to how I wanted to bitch slap a penguin. Ah, that was one of the saddest moments in my life. Well, not well. Actually, that makes me sound sad. That was a very disappointing time for me. Let's put it that way, as I really wanted to play Gears, and my sister went and hid it. So, to this day, which is for, oh my god, did I really just do that? I don't even remember doing that. That's a fail. Um, so to this day, I have not played Gears, and you, I might not even play it tomorrow if she decides not to tell me where it is yet again. So. If you guys don't see any Gears commentary or gameplay for a while, well, that's why. It's because my sister has hidden it. So don't be shouting at me saying, oh, you should be... I, I can't even... You know, I'm just going to move on. So um, I know it's a little bit late, but yeah, the FIFA 12 demo came out. And I've been having a good time on that, doing my skills and all that stuff. Uh, mucking about with the player impact engine. So like you could be running down the pitch with... I think there's a player on Barca with 5 star skill moves, you could be running down the pitch with him doing your McGeady spin, flip flap, temper shot, really dribble with the, through the whole team and then, and then you, a defender comes and he, I'd say he headbutts your face, no, 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 well no he doesn't headbutt your face, that's a foul, he, he trips, quotation mark, and headbutts your arm and then your player does a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick across the pitch, that is the, sort of thing or the sort of glitches that happen with the player impact um engine on FIFA 12 and I think they're pretty fun to muck about with because you could like deliberately run into opposing players and then watch your 
player get flinged across the pitch like a rag doll on crack. So if you guys haven't played the FIFA 12 demo, there's some images for you guys to think about while you miss out on playing a pretty good game. And um, I also played the PES 2012 demo, and I think that it's actually a pretty good game. I mean, it's a game that requires skill to play in a way. Oh, pardon me, I just drank two cans of Tango, nomi nomi. But anyway, it's a, it's a pretty good game to play. And I mean, it's not like FIFA where you can just pass, 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 skill, shoot. You actually have to like pick your plays, time them. And um, I think it's a game for the tactical-minded, so to speak. I mean, you actually, like I've said, you actually need to think about what you're doing. And at times, it can be a pretty challenging game to play. Like, I remember um, I was into Milan and I kind of I kind of lost to Rangers. But um, I don't know what difficulty I was playing on. I think the demo automatically puts you on World Class, which is like top pro something difficulty on pairs. I don't know. I don't really play the game. But um, yeah, I think it is a pretty good game to play overall. So um, I want me and my friends have recently been talking more about MW3 and how it is like it's gonna be a good game. We know that for sure. Well, we don't. Well, we said Black Ops was gonna be a good game, and a lot of people ended up hating it. So it's gonna be an all right game. I mean, people are at least gonna play it for a couple of months. They're gonna get to grips with it. They're gonna know what's good and what's bad. Like, I think in under a week, people knew that the 74U was the most overpowered piece of donkey poo in the world. And that uh, I think on the PS3, the FAMAS has less recoil than on the Xbox. But on the Xbox, the 74U has more damage. So that's Treyarch's way of balancing things out. I think they fail pretty bad. And um, they, should just, they should just stick to zombies and... Zombies that look like Van Persie. Yeah. If you if any of you guys go back on World of War Zombies, no, don't play the map packs on Black Ops. Actually go on World of War Zombies and you will see that the zombies in Derry's they look like Van Persie. I can guarantee it. I can try and find a picture or like Google search Van Persie zombies or something, but the zombies look like Van Persie and I'm sure of it. Yeah. Van Persie zombies gonna kill you. Roar. So um <laughs> Um, another game that I played recently was the NBA 2K11 demo and that got me pretty hyped up about NBA 2K12 as soon as I'm all tall and black and darker Will Smith and whatnot, I suppose me getting an NBA game doing a well, I wouldn't say a let's play but doing some gameplay and commentary, commentary, commentaries for you guys I suppose that would be pretty It'd be pretty fun and interesting to watch, and the gameplay is over, so I'm gonna quit my jibber jabber. So yeah, it's been done. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? It's been done. It's triggers. Pay.